and welcome to the video. My name is Jensen. I'm a singer, songwriter, composer, and a content creator. Today we're looking at two accessories for the Rode Video Mic Pro, and they are both wind jammers. If you can't tell, it's really windy up here. So we're going to be looking at this one, which is of course the mini wind jammer that comes in the box with the Rode Video Mic Pro, or it certainly did with the model that I bought. And we're also going to be looking at this that Ryko have kindly sent me, and it's their version of the mini wind jammer for the Rode Video Mic Pro. As you can tell, it's a bit crisp and windy up here on the top of a hill in Rochdale near where I live. And we're going to see how both of these products fare up in some windy conditions. Excellent. So now you're hearing the Rode Video Mic Pro with the mini wind jammer that comes in the box, which was the light grey one that you saw. Now you're hearing the Rode Video Mic Pro with the Ryko mini wind jammer. Uh, it's a slightly different material. It's their own synthetic. Okay, so I've just changed the boom position on the shotgun mic, well, the Rode Video Mic Pro. It has the mini wind jammer from Ryko on it at the moment, and we'll see how it sounds. Hopefully I'm still in focus, and we'll see what it sounds like. So this just fell over. Hi, I'm up here, and now I'm testing the Rode Video Mic Pro, and I'm using the mini wind jammer that comes with the Rode Video Mic Pro in the box. We'll see how it's dealing with the, uh, with the wind, and just see how it sounds overall. One thing I do want to say at this point is I'm not sponsored by Ryko or Rode or anyone. I'm not sponsored by anyone at this point. I just want to make content that you enjoy. It's hopefully educational. Um, I just enjoy making content. So if you're doing anything outside at any point, you're probably going to encounter wind. And while the foam covering that is on the Rode Video Mic Pro is a reasonable bit of protection, if you start getting over more than a couple of miles an hour, or really more than any wind at all, you're probably going to need to get yourself a wind jammer because you're protecting the microphone from gusts of air that are going to cause breakup. In fact, I'm going to demonstrate that on the shotgun mic that I've got right below me. If I was to blow, on the microphone as though it were, say, in the wind. It currently has no protection on it. So if I was to blow on it, you can hear that that's breaking up, that's really distorted, and that the wind is getting to it. Whereas this, I'm gonna place this over. It's breaking down all those gusts of air um, if you're in the studio and you're tracking a vocalist, it's a very sim similar principle to plosives that you might encounter, which are B and P sounds and things like that, which are sounds that you create that make a blast of air. And of course, when they hit the diaphragm of the microphone, you get distortion. Um, so you will have a pop filter in front of the microphone. So it's essentially doing the same job, but you're dealing with environmental wind, uh, environmental, you know, gusts of air and stuff like that. So when I was talking to Ryko about doing this video, um, they sent me this little blurb over which I'm going to read. Our Ryko wind jammers for the video mic range all feature the same high quality synthetic fur that we are renowned for, with each being handmade in our factory in Stroud. Each model is made to measure to fit the different variants of video mic. So that means you know that this is the same high quality fur that Ryko are known for, and you're gonna find that on all their products. If you've got a blimp for say an NTG3 shotgun mic or something like that, you know that you've got the same high quality product for your video mic pro as you would for a microphone that's gonna cost you, you know, uh, three, 400 pounds upwards. So a really high end professional piece of kit. You're getting the same quality as that, which is excellent. That's really, really good. It's incredibly well made. Uh, the fabric, even on the inside, is brilliant. I think the interior of the product is really, really good. It's got um, you know, a really nice red fabric on the inside, very high quality. The sewing is very nice. The stitching is very high quality. Um, I love this little tab. I think this little tab is a great little detail. I think it just adds a, just a, an extra level of professionalism, but it's not so big that it's distracting and it's not in an awkward place either. It's not kind of sticking out the back or anything like that. It, you can just tuck that tab into the side. And I think that's really handy. Just from looking at the product, it feels and looks really professional. And not only that, but if you match all your, <laughs> all your gear up with the same accessories as most professional companies would do, it's gonna look really nice. It's gonna look really uniform. It communicates that there's a, a standardization there. 
If you're working with members of the public and you're doing interviews, or if you're on set with actors, you want to make them feel as easy as possible. And by sticking a big boom in their face with perhaps a massive logo plastered on the side of it, or perhaps it's bright gray, it doesn't allow people to relax as much. And I think, especially if you're working with, with actors or you're interviewing something, you want them to feel comfortable so that they can communicate um, whether they're just given an answer to a question or if they're an actor and they're trying to recreate something they're trying to create an emotion and immerse themselves in their character and in their environment it's not just thinking about how does it affect my workflow but actually how does it affect other people's workflows you don't want to be overly distracting or anything like that you want to be doing your job and focusing on your job but you also don't want it to be interfering with other people's job in a negative way. If I look at the Windjammer that came with my video mic pro, um, it does do a good job of isolating the sound, I will say that, but there are various versions of it out now, so it might be hard to figure out which one is for which. Do they all fit? Probably, but for me, it's just good to know that I can go to Ryko and they've got a product that is specifically designed for it, and that is what they specialize in. Rode are a fantastic company, got a lot of time for them, I use a lot of their products. But in terms of accessories, I'm going to Ryko. So if you're doing anything outdoors um, with your Video Mic Pro, I can definitely recommend getting one of these. Even if you don't want to go for Rycoats, there are some alternatives out there, but I really, really like Rycoats products and they specialize in this field. This is what they specialize in. Wind jammers, shock absorption for your microphones, handling protection, all information you can find on their website. This is something that they specialize in and they are trusted by professionals worldwide. And even if you don't have a Video Mic Pro, they offer accessories for various different road products and videography products and all, all that kind of stuff for whatever you're using check them out they've got a wide range of accessories at your availability who knows maybe i'll end up doing some more reviews i know that they've been putting out on their facebook and social media recently about their new microphone protection cases so they'd be really really cool So, in summary, I think this is a great little product. I want to thank Rycoat for sending it me. It's really, really well built and really fit for purpose. Rycoat specialise in this stuff, so it's definitely worth checking them out. And if you've got a video on Mic Pro, and at any point you're planning on doing anything outside, this is an accessory you should definitely invest in. And for £25, it's not such a steep cost for something that could potentially save your audio on a windy day. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. Thank you for stopping by. It's cold. It's cold, isn't it? <laughs> right. Um, is there anything else we need?